Welcome back everyone and today I am so excited to bring to you my very first project for Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. This is using the cool products for February as well as some of my chosen products. In the description I will leave a link to Auntie Vera's website. The cool products as well as my chosen products will be on sale at a discounted rate so please go to the website and check out her store. You will be pleasantly surprised. I decided to match my photo with some white cardstock because I knew that I just had to use this lovely striped paper by Photo Play. It is called Wild at Love and as you would know if you've seen my unboxing it is part of, part of the core products. I just went to my stash and I got some white cardstock and all I'm doing is adding some gesso and while I'm adding the gesso I'm thinking about how I might use my striped paper. So here I am, oh the cut apart, I knew I wanted to use this lovely bear and I believe I fussy cut the bear out and then I also fussy cut the tiger out. So inspiration has struck and I decide I'm going to cut all these lovely little strips into strips. So I just got out my trusty little Fiskars trimmer and away I go. I know that I want to mat my white cardstock, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, I'm just going to trim around two sides, and that will still keep, give me a nice square for my layout. And I'm just going to check if it's going to, if that's enough of a mat, and I believe it is. So I'm going to get my Fiskars trimmer again, and I'm going to gut the inside of it, so that way I can still use the paper to mat my photo with a second layer. I believe this could possibly be my quickest layout to date. I guess by having all the coordinating products and all the matching papers at hand really, really helps to make things a lot easier. It takes away a lot of the guesswork. The part that I spent the most time on was here, getting the strips of paper and trying to work out exactly how I wanted to place them. I go from the top down from the bottom up and in the end I'll end up settling somewhere in the middle. I don't actually show the whole process of me trying to work out how I'm going to do it because it was actually quite long and tedious and very repetitive and pretty boring. It was just me moving paper up and down but I wanted to leave some of it in for you so that you know that it doesn't all just come naturally. We do play around and move things around and spend a bit of time sorting it all out. I did land up spending considerable time also deciding on the length of the strip. So I cut them all out into different lengths. And here I am just working out the two cut apart. I want to use the lovely tiger and the, and the bear. And the reason I really wanted to use the bear, to be quite honest, because I thought that brought out all the denim in my son's uh, jeans and the pants that he's wearing. And also because I thought he was so damn cute. So here I am just trying to place the strips again where I might like them and yeah, doing some more cutting. And this was just something that I didn't really plan. I just eyeballed it and yeah, just stuck it down. I, I didn't want it to look too planned either. I wanted to have a bit of that messy look. At this point, I'm starting to like how the layout is coming together, but I decided that I needed more strips of paper. So I just got out the paper and just cut some more strips out. So now I have to come to the fun bit and I love mixed media. So what I did was I got out some of my Distress Oxides. This colour is called Faded Jeans and I'm just using the famous packaging technique. Now all you have to do is just put some of your ink on some packaging and basically smoosh it down. I personally like to use a small piece of packaging because if I use anything too big I find that I have less control of it and I make more of a mess mainly because I don't know when to stop. The other two colours I used were peeled paint and bundled sage. So I'm going to do some stenciling. Now this stencil is from my stash but that ink of gold, it's, uh, the colour is old silver. Oh my gosh I fell in love with it. It is one of the my chosen products from Antivira. I am so glad I chose it. Absolutely love it. It's sort of a golden colour, but it's got a bit of silver in it, if that makes sense. So it, it's not as brassy as that gold, and I love it. 
I absolutely loved how it turned out and the photos and the video do not do, do it justice. Here I am, I'm just going to be putting a dot of glue on each end of my strips because I'm going to get my sewing machine and using some metallic thread gold, I'm going to sew straight down the middle of those. So my layout now is finally coming together and that little tiger, it's got this lovely little thing that says our love is fierce, but I wanted to put it um, down the bottom of the bear because that's what we sort of call my husband sometimes grumpy bear so you know a bit of a family joke I'm using some embossing ink and I love this product it's another one of my chosen products from Auntie Vera it's from Lindy's Stamp Gang embossing powder and the color is Angel Wings Gold and I absolutely love it I did use three coats of it because it's actually quite light it's not like some of those gold embossing powders that are in your face so you can build up the color to well, however you like so to me it gives me more control i absolutely love the product so yeah i'm so glad that i chose to try this product because i'm in love with it so just gluing down my lovely little tiger there and this layout is nearly at its end i'm absolutely thrilled with it um shouldn't blow my own trumpet i know but i really liked how it turned out I like the mixed media, I love the products that I chose, um, Inca Gold, beautiful, go and get it if you don't have some, necessary for your stash, and I'm in love with that embossing powder, see it's not in your face gold, it's got that old world to it, absolutely love it, so please, um, if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you subscribe to my little channel, I'm trying to grow it, hoping to get to 500 subscribers, so everyone, See you all soon. Bye.